All right, welcome to today's video. Just a short one. It's Thursday, the 2nd of May, and look at this. How good is that looking right now? So we put the equilibrium on last time. It's filled in some spots. It's really come on, needs a cut. So today I'm gonna to show you how to cut your new lawn. Okay, so before we cut it today, let's just cast our minds back and give new viewers an opportunity to see what is going on here. Well, on Good Friday, we came to this lawn and we did our renovation. We scalped it. We scarified it with the Alex Sterling scarifying attachment and we then picked up what was left with the scarifying attachment as well. And this got out all the weeds that had sprouted from the ash tree and the sycamore tree. Once we'd done that, we then used our seed slotting tool for, that we got off eBay and used that. And then we spread our extreme seed, just filling in by hand a few areas that I couldn't get to with the spreader. Then we went on with our field compost number five. Don't forget the discount code there, 10% off. And then we put our fleece on, wetting agent, and then we called that one a day. And then we came back on Thursday the 11th, took the covers off, and look at that underneath. Looks great. We give it a quick cut, and then we applied Orbit, Sopro, Stella, and Grace to get them seeds off to a great start. And then after a week, we came back and look at that. It had all kicked in nice. The seeds had come on a treat. So we give it a quick cut with the rotary first, just to pick up any debris that had fallen off the trees. And then we went over with the Alex Sterling with the cylinder attachment in. Look at that, those stripes really pinging. And then we put our equilibrium fertilizer on. And then let's join it back today on May the 2nd. Right, so before we can crack on with what we really want to be doing, and that is cutting it with the cylinder, it's just a little bit longer than I thought it would be, just because the temperatures have really risen and we put the feed on, it's kicked in. It's not been cut for seven days, so we're going to cut it with the rotary first, and what this is going to do is it's going to take off the top growth, and then when we get with the cylinder, that's going to be able to cope with the growth a little bit better, because if we just went on with the cylinder on this now, it would just flatten it and it wouldn't cut right. So we'll knock it down with this. I'll stick it on three, give it a cut, and then whilst I'm doing it, I'll decide what we're going to do, singles or doubles. But I think I'm fancying doubles today, so let's go. Now just bear in mind as well, when you're cutting with the rotary and then going on with the cylinder, is that my hair to here is actually 19 inches and my Alex Sterling is 17 inches. So if I do double stripes at 19 inches a piece, then I'm going to have 38 inch stripes, but I'm only going to have 34 with the Sterling, so I'm going to have to do three stripes if I just underlap if you like a bit less than full stripe with the hater i can do 34 then so just bear that in mind All right, I'm in dreamland right now. It's early May, and this is just like looking at Howard's in Charlie last year when we did the coronation lawn, but I think this is looking even better because we've got the good conditions here. We've not got the sun beating down on it all day, so it's not drying out. We've got the right amount of moisture. 
Still got a comfy way, we've had birds attacking it for some reason, I'm not sure what they're after, but look at that, they've been digging up a few patches, but still got a sticking out yet. So we can address those at a later date if necessary, if not today. But yeah, what we'll do is, we'll get on with the cylinder now, it's all ready to go. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut it on 30mm and we'll see what we take off, see how it looks. We don't want to knock it down too soon, we'll do it stage by stage, but getting on with the cylinder now, it's going to start that thickening up process. For some reason, a cylinder cut thickens up the lawn quicker than a rotary. So it's just cut, cut, cut now and just keep on with water. Don't need to put any products on just yet. And then this lawn is going to be absolutely fantastic. Just a shame the sun's out because it's actually creating the shadows. But I think if the sun was in, it'd be looking a lot better because we could see the stripes real nice. So anyway, let's go. Alright, so that's at 30 mil. You see we've taken quite a bit off, but the lawn is still quite long. Have a look up close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock it down to 25 and keep it there for now. And then we can slowly work it down. But if we kind of cap it at 25 and never let it get above that, we've always got that versatility to leave it at 25 or knock it down. If you leave it at 30 and then decide to go a lot shorter you're going to struggle so we'll start that process now but one thing we have learned is that we've done it on three on the hater so what we know is is that three on the hater is more than 30 mil because i've taken off about five mil so i would say three on the hater going forward is around 35 mil My favourite part of this machine is this micro increment. All right, look at that, absolutely beautiful. Now I know what you're gonna say. Look at them edges. So I've got my strimmer. I'm gonna strim those now. Then get my blower out, clean this patio off of all this debris and then the mantra now is just cut, cut, cut. What I'll do is next time, I'll come on Tuesday, I'll start doing two cuts a week, but next time I'll go this way, and then next time we're here, we'll do tartan stripes. Now what I forgot to tell you was, after I put the equilibrium on last time you saw me here, I came back the next day and put some Dan's magic on, just to give the lawn something to be feeding on whilst the equilibrium was working i just didn't have it with me that day so i would have put it on then you can put it on put the equilibrium on and then go on straight after with the dan's magic that's absolutely no problem whatsoever and this is what you're not saying that this that comes in the bag or the bottle but if you've done all the steps that i've said to do this is achievable you've seen me do this from step one last year when we dug it out seeded it did all that leveled it top dressed, whatever, uh, later on in the year, sanded it to get the level this year. Start with the renovations, four weeks ago on Good Friday. And this 
is today, Thursday, 2nd of May. So let's get this trimming done and then we'll call this one done and we'll see you next time. Go on then, I'll just show you up close. So we're still quite long, so we will be bringing this down because we can get this a lot shorter. But just because it's that first cut after that spurt of growth that we've had, we don't want to take it all off in one. So next time we're here, I'll probably knock it down to 22. And then the following Friday next week, a week today, or th Thursday, sorry, we'll then go down to 20 and just keep knocking it down. We want to be around about 15 by the time we're ready for it, like for the summer proper. So yeah, so if it needs watering, water it. But in this lawn, we don't want to just stick the sprinkler on for five hours and, and leave it because there's areas where it's not going to dry out, like in this corner. We don't want any more water on there. We're going to try and keep that dry for the time because we want the seed to come through without getting too boggy. But yeah, water if you need, just by hand. And yeah, beautiful. <laughs> So just a quick video there for you today you can see how easy it is all you need to do is follow what i do and you're more or less guaranteed to get these results and if i can do it in this shaded environment one of the most harshest environments known to man then i think you can do it as well in your garden so join me next time when we'll be doing something else lawn related here on daniel hibbert lawn expert bye for now and don't forget to like and subscribe that really helps me out and does me a favor so see you soon And now time for my cheesy advert, luxuryrattendirect.co.uk, up in Bamber Bridge, Preston. All the best garden furniture at all the best prices and all in stock, ready for delivery as soon as you want it. Check them out, see what you think.